will be. And the steering wheel I have is a Steve Sweet steering wheel. So you're just going to have to take my word for it that I have an SUV steering wheel. <laughs> and do your own research. Um, but yeah, let's play some initial day. So, so what did you win today? So, on today's horrible life choices, as as can be seen with my phone, Craigslist, Row 52, and eBay, today, I won a bid for something, which I'm super duper excited about, and that is Initial D steering wheels. Not the kind that Takami uses A86, but literally the kind you would find in the arcade game. And it's gonna be cool. So everybody gets Nardis or Momos or Personals, but I have always had the dream since high school of having an Initial D arcade steering wheel as my steering wheel on my car. But I never had a car worthy of it until the Camry, aka the S14. And I have to give credit to this guy over here, Jer, if you want to see. He had an S12 or has an S12, I don't know, I found his build thread online, but I had the Super Street, I still have it, of the, up, the magazine where they did the feature on his car, and he literally had the steering wheel and I always thought that was the coolest thing ever because in high school I was a big Initial D fan, had all the episodes on my laptop and always loved playing it at the arcades. And I always thought this guy was an absolute boss for having it in his car. Um, he has a Namco horn but Namco is not really Initial D, it's like another brand. Sega yeah. does Initial D but it's still badass so I'm gonna do my own take on it. He has like, I, I found out that he has like a forum like post from years ago, whenever this was relevant, I don't even know. But it doesn't really show how it's done. If you, I don't know if you can see, but if, you, if I go back to the post, um, there's like this thing on the back. Where is it? Do, do, do. There's like this part that's like built into the back for the actual attachment of like the arcade the, unit, yeah. which obviously doesn't exactly bolt up to a, to an S14. So we're gonna see if we can't like hammer that out or cut it off, and just see what we're gonna do. Um, but I think it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a cool episode. Maybe it'll catch on. Maybe it'll be a, a trend. But I still trust this more than NRG or Grip Royal, to be honest. It's I true. Mean, these have to take abuse of yeah, like kids cause... and people all day long at an arcade, banging on it, pulling on it. True. So I think this is solid. Yeah, it would be sick. And we're gonna vlog the whole thing, guys. So yeah. we'll do a full install and everything on it. So. Yeah. So the goal is gonna be to cut that off and then measure out like the Momo hub where the holes are and drilling holes. And I don't think I'm gonna make it a quick release. I think I'm just gonna have it statically in there. I don't know, yeah, but that's fine. I got two. So, you know, we got, <laughs> we got, we can mess around. We have two of these. Um, got it for really cheap too. Um, normally they go for like 80 to a hundred before shipping. And they're like the $80 ones are in like kind of crap condition. Like some of the foam is chipped off or like they're scratched, but these were like two mid condition ones that had a starting bit of 20 bucks. And I like out sniped the other two and ended up paying 42 for the pair plus like $40 shipping so Legit. I'm really happy and super excited to show it to you guys and hopefully it comes out as a great episode. It's gonna be sick. So the MSPS guy just knocked and today's the day that this is either someone our downstairs neighbor package or my package. Hey you guys show everyone our address that's cool. <laughs> There's two in there? Yeah, it should be. Ah. Hey, we have bubble wrap for more packaging. Wait. We're in the... Almost as wet as this. This is pretty heavy. Yeah? Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, that was pretty solid, actually. <laughs> Dude, that's Holy super shit. solid. Sick. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do this. That's like... <laughs> One yeah, piece. So how are you gonna chop that up to mount on a hub? I don't know. It's been done, so I know it's possible. Probably start by hammering that out, possibly, because it looks like it can come out. It's like pushed pieces, in. Yeah. And then this will be. Well, this feels foamy. Feel that. So that might be pretty easy to. Just dremel through that. To dremel through that, yeah, because that might be. And then would you just have to drill, like, take a drill press and like put six bolts? Yeah, I would just mark out the holes and hopefully our drill can go through it. This is an initial D arcade steering wheel and somehow I'm gonna get rid of this little mechanism and put holes and bolt it up to the Momo hub. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I trust this more than like an NRG steering wheel, I'll tell you that much. This thing is solid. Yeah, it's not gonna break. It's not gonna break on me, that's for sure. So, 
initial test fitting. It's definitely a little bigger, which is good. Nice. Is good. Solid. Solid, solid feel. Probably have to mount it like right about there. It's not too bad. Um, and I don't think we need to do anything with this. I think we're just going to leave the spindle from the video game because it will it should clear. It's pretty deep. It goes to like, I don't know, yeah, plenty of room. Um, <laughs> we'll try it out. It's not Worst case scientific. scenario, we'll, we'll just remove it. Yeah. Um, the issue I do have is that these screws aren't very long. The ones um, we just bought from Ace. And this is pretty thick. This is pretty thick. So, yeah. yeah. Either, yeah. Probably yeah. going to just have or to. for sure have to go to Ace. Screws. Fudge. Darn it. All right, guys, so we got the steering wheel off. Uh, this is just like a Momo hub. Um, the other half of it's still attached to the car. It's pretty simple. You get the center nut out and then the three nuts that are holding it to the piece that's attached to the car. Um, wasn't too bad. Jerso's going to be hard, but I guess the design he was thinking of is the kind where the spindle's actually locked in, but that piece is still on the car. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to find the right size hex key for this. Which might be this one. Yes. Okay, it's that one. Then after that, we're going to take the hub off, place it on the back of here, mark out the holes, figure out the appropriate size, drill bit, and drill. Uh, but I want to mention that this this wheel is just some whatever wheel. Like, I bought the wheel with the hub from a friend for 30 bucks. I figured that was a pretty good deal for a Momo hub and whatever a wheel. It's solid. I still feel like I trust this more than NRG. Um, but yeah, Hencho in Mexico, like, it's just a whatever wheel. And then we painted this. I, I don't know if we have it on film. We do. It matches. Oh yeah, hey look, we can get the caliper and... If the lighting didn't suck. If the lighting see didn't it. suck? Yeah. How like about if it was sunny, how, see Oh, it. okay, well yeah, they're the same color. I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Take this apart. We got this off the steering wheel. And I was being a dumbass. And I was like, oh yeah, so we're just gonna mock it up. Shit, I don't know how I'm gonna get this straight. I don't know how I'm gonna get a Sharpie. And I turned it around like, oh yeah, this will be way better. And then like, yeah, we're just gonna have to eyeball it, you know, just being stupid. Then, brilliant idea. Oh, there you go. Now, you now you're new it. using your college degree. Yeah. So, I put tape down to like. I was thinking about putting tape down, which is why I grabbed tape, but I don't know. I don't think so. Alright. Is this the good wheel or the bad wheel? I'm just going with the good one. Okay. Alright. Cold. Yeah. Brave. Yeah. This guy right here. No fear. No fear. I don't know. I don't know how to get it like perfectly straight. Because this has to be as low as it can go, so that's pretty much there. Yeah. And then the rest. That seems fairly straight. I'm like trying to line up this part. Yeah. Because of the sides you can't really... I'm trying to look at the holes, the yeah. side holes. I'm just going to go with it. Alright. Not that like the drill mark is even going to necessarily be straight. <laughs> And I don't know, we might not need to get screws because if I can get it tight enough, because it's mostly rubber, so it'll just compress. Oh, yeah. It just needs to get into the hole. I see. Because these were actually kind of long, they went past the hub hole, oh, so. Okay. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I really would like to not have to go to Ace. I know. It's kind of like the end goal here is not to drive 20 minutes to the tool store. Yeah. Yeah. And dude, I was going to say that fits in the hub. Yeah. Nice. I, I would assume so. Yeah, because the, the spindle doesn't come up that far. Yeah, the spindle does not come up that far. It's gonna be like that. So now our next goal is to pick a drill bit that goes through this hole, right? Yeah. Uh, Giving away all these trade secrets. Now somebody's gonna do this. Yeah. I want to gonna... start a trend. Oh, okay. If it's not Marlboro livery. It's gonna be initial D steering wheels this year. Okay. What do you think that? Mm -hmm. Look at how thick that is. I know. <laughs> Compared to solid. like that. Yeah. Like. I know. And then this is this is actually heavy. Like I'm struggling to hold. Yeah, this no, that, this is like you guys can't tell in the video, but like this is super like solid. Like, like it doesn't your, flex. Go or to your anything. nearest arcade and go like try to try to rip one of these off. <laughs> these steering wheel. And you tell us that you think that's sweet. The ported. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, there goes that drill, drill bit. Put a little bit too much force. Sorry, Jer. <laughs> Do a different pilot hole size, uh, slightly bigger. Maybe a little bit. So remember when we were talking about how the metal is really strong? Holy shit! There you go. Yeah. Well, this is this is what I'm wearing. Holy crap! That's really thick. Yeah, <laughs> that metal's really. Oh. Oh. Uh, well. Ah, it's not bad. <laughs> That'll cover that right up. That's not centered. <laughs> 
down it's a little weird, bit. It's weird because the so. back looks like it's like centered. It's the front. The front that looks off centered. centered. Yeah, it's weird. Stupid. All right, guys, and this is why we're gonna be your guinea pigs. Learn from us. Don't don't make stupid mistakes. Don't do this. Don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, here's another hole. <laughs> Why does, what, what the fuck the hell happened here? I don't no, actually, no, it just looks weird because there's this hole right here. No, that's definitely way off. Wow, how did this one get messed up so bad? Alright, so don't use that as a template, just drill. What the hell? I don't understand. It matches up. Well, I know <laughs> it's off. Never jump knees first, kids. That'll be the, the title of the video. Yeah. Alright guys, we did it. We're uh, about 90 something percent of the way there. i um, pretty happy so far, but to uh, kind of backtrack and tell you what I did. So as you guys saw, it was kind of a failed attempt to go from the back, and as Jura said, it should go from the front so we don't mess up the rubber. And if we do, it'll just be minor and we can cover it with the screw, or I could just do it right at one of the times. Anyways, <laughs> got the hub, um, put it to the front, tried to line it up as best I could took apart a pen, stuck it through the hole, like the side of the hub, like that, and then made like a made like a dot where I need to go, and I like went around, and I tried to like double check the measurements and stuff, but it's slightly crooked, which I'm just gonna pretend like I don't notice, and I'll never notice, and maybe you guys don't notice it's it. It's an alignment problem. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna go with the wheels not aligned, and the hub is bent. Anyways. Um, so I drilled it out. This time, instead of using two bits with like a little one and a, and a regular size, I used like four. I used like a super tiny one, like the size of the like the pen hole, and then I just went like up, skipping like two two sizes in the uh, in the drill bit box. And it was a lot easier. It went down super smooth. There was no struggle. Just went down high speed every time, and it came out a little unaligned. Um, and that made it not line up with the hub on two of them, which is weird because all three of these lined up, but those two didn't. Um, probably again due to poor drilling or something. Uh, this is why I don't work for BP. We're gonna have a lot more contaminated oceans, just kidding. Uh, stupid joke. And basically we need to go to Ace and get slightly longer bolts because I'm gonna run a uh, nut on the other side. So we at least have all six of these bolts in. But for the three that it is, it's fairly solid. It's just the hub that's like moving right now, I think. Um, yeah, the wheel's not bending, it's yeah, the hub. Yeah, the wheel, like again, this wheel's like super solid. Looks um, good. I plastied at the center. I don't know if you guys remember, like, I guess a few seconds ago in the video, it's like kind of like rusted and silver, and Jerry suggested I paint the center, so I did. I just plastic dipped it uh, for like a little quick fix, and it looks, it's okay. Looks it's good. Not, yeah, it's definitely better than it was. It's just yeah. a classic. It's kind of cold and it didn't lay great, but I'm okay with it. It looks fine to me. Like it's just textured looking. Um, the guy who did this that I'm like low key copying, but just putting my own twist on. He had the Namco steering wheel, but I'm not going to do that because that's what he did. And technically, uh, initial D is Sega, not Namco. So uh, the initial D center steering wheel horn, whatever you want to call it, those are actually really crappy looking. They're <laughs> like super plain. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna go with that. I'm probably just gonna leave it like this. Maybe put a sticker. Who knows? So far, I'm pretty happy though. It's like, it's really solid. Um, the wheel's like really like low key. It's really solid. It is really low key. Like I like it. It's pretty. It's not like look at me. It's not really deep dish. It's not like bad looking. It's like a really just like nice wheel. Like it looks yeah. OEM without a steering, like without an air so, it's Super and nice. And if anybody asks what it is, I'd be like, oh yeah, it's from the Mission DR. Salt. So we got that like, street cred, as, as you would say. It reminds me of like, the Mighty Carmots episode that we do for more street cred. <laughs> On a budget. Well guys, hope you guys uh, liked it. Hope you think it's cool, probably think it's stupid, not say if you can't screw holes in for the life of you. Uh, either way, like, subscribe, comment, let us know what you think. Hopefully this video makes its rounds as something cool that no one's done, at least not in a while. I was looking when that uh, that Super Street was published that I saw this, it was like in 2010. Yeah. And I feel like I would have heard about people doing this as like a fact, but I never really heard of this. Did you? I didn't see about that. I didn't see that feature. Like, you're the only person I know that <laughs> saw it, so. Yeah, because every time I look up images about this wheel, it's like, it's from Motor Mavens and Super Street. It's the same one guy with that, like, SR S12. Um, 
which is already uncommon in and of itself. So that guy, that guy, shout out to that guy. He's cool, man. S12, SR, and he did the steering wheel thing with a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, so yeah, this is going to be cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to show this off to the masses and let people know that like you can do this and it's probably cheaper than your Grip Royal steering wheel. Just kidding. It's 100% cheaper than Grip Royal <laughs> steering wheel, but better quality. I, I don't know. I don't like Grip Royal and I don't like energy. I definitely don't like energy. I just, Grip Royal always seemed like really flashy and like they weren't yeah. really strong. But now like all this Formula D drivers are all like sponsored by Grip Royal. So I don't know what to think. Maybe their quality got better than since we first knew them in the scene. What do you think? Debate down below. <laughs> Grip Royal, yay or nay? <laughs> anyway, like, subscribe, share with your friends. Let us know what you think. Brian, it's you. <laughs>